We're sneaking out. Oh, those little crazies. They fit under there just perfectly. but it'll get stung. <laughs> I hope he does get stung. <laughs> not really, not really. Smart ass. <laughs> That's a true friend. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, a brand new beekeeper, you gotta get that first sting That's right. someday. That's right. and, and sooner better than later. <laughs> I have a feeling they won't be bothering me like that. Wow. I haven't heard that. Crazy bees. So are you going to put... Okay, I can't do any more. How about just right up next to it, because the mulch will be there. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, my God. This is, this is going to be... A really nice bee. Yeah, you want to do this one. This one, I think. So I said to him, so he said, so your hive's all ready to go. Yeah. I said, I've got everything going. I've got my grub on center blocks and everything's facing south. He said, how come south? I said, because that's what I was told I should do. He's like, oh, get him heading east. <laughs> well, I, I did said, tell you south to southeast. I said, so where do I go? He was like, Bees don't care. They just want to make sure they don't freeze in the winter time. <laughs> That's okay. Let's pull this right over that way. So where'd you find the mats? Got for supply. Nice. And then I think what we'll do, since I don't have to, I was thinking there wouldn't be much room, but I can set the things right next to them on the concrete blocks. Yeah. Done. Perfect. Okay, and then last but not least. Oh. This is, will that work? This is perfect, yeah. Now, if you find that it's creating too much heat okay. by absorbing, you can throw mulch over it. Okay. But this will keep all the weeds down. You won't have to worry about getting up in front of the hives. Yeah, and these, this is sturdy. I didn't attach them to the posts. I'm gonna use some heavy duty zip ties. Yeah. But they're not going anywhere. That's good. So he drove these in for you? Yeah, with his. It took thing. less than 30 minutes to put all these posts nice. in. Beautiful. It's a perfect bee yard. Yeah. I had no idea. How much of this is yours? Clear back to the tree line? Oh, all the way to the tree line and all the way back to the power line. It goes way back behind those oak trees. Yeah. It'll work. Beautiful. Oh, it will work. And it, there's perfect. no water flowing or anything, so it's perfect. good. Um, two things I wanted to ask, and I think I figured it out. Um, oh, actually, I didn't ask them. I can ask you. I took five out for now. Right. He said take out and only leave four. So I've got the five that he gives me. Okay. And they should come into the, and only because that'll give him, it'll be, make it easier to take things out. So he always loads his with eight. Oh. Whatever. Anyway. Okay. Um, and put them in the order and they, that they come out of the box. Do, 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 do. Yep. Um, my question to you was. In the middle though, right? Did he say that? No. He said put them in, uh, he said put all yours when they come out of the box. So he's suggesting to put them on one side? I think he did. I'm a, I'll call him before I do that tomorrow. Well, now that I asked you that. It can be a preference, but a lot of people will suggest that you put them in the middle because what you're creating, that's the nucleus of is a hive. here and there. And that is the, there's a, that's the brood nest. That's okay. where the queen is working. The queen likes to work in the middle of the hive. Okay. He, um, the other thing I was asking was about the um, feed supply. So I okay. need to stop at Gretchen's and pick up three of those. Okay. Yeah. The, the front feeders? The, no, I was going to do the, the ones that hang in. Oh, okay. Oh, the front feeders. He said the front feeders you might have a little more trouble with because then you'll get mixing from back and forth. Like the bees will come from one to the other and it'll also attract others. So, so will this. He prefers, he prefers having them the ones that hang inside. That's fine. So I'll get, pick up three of those tomorrow before they go in. 
but my question to you was that notch uh -huh. is that intended to be up or down because when i bought them it was up yeah because i remember seeing that yep. but is the notch if it was like this wouldn't the bees be able to come in and out through that notch yes is that what i wanted is that ideal some no some again it's preference some people use that as a little entrance some people use it as a vent some people say turn it up so that it's not anything does that matter it doesn't really matter okay. i leave mine up not not all of my inner covers have that but the ones that do i leave them up okay j just so that it okay so i'll just do stickers up because i'm gonna leave that in yeah. and then i'll take that out tomorrow so i don't have to worry about running that bucket. right okay so so let's go ahead and introduce this welcome to daddy curb's farm rising kale farms actually this is robert from rising kale farms and he is a brand new beekeeper like these are shiny fancy <laughs> fresh painted beautiful hives that are that are brand new he picked up at gretchen bee ranch and we together are going to install those nukes now tonight he's just going to set the nukes out to get them oriented to their new location and then we'll come back tomorrow or the next day two or three days and then actually install them into the hive box. So you will get to see that. Hang with me, don't go away. Uh, Robert's gonna have lots of questions and I'm going to attempt to have some answers. <laughs> Are you excited, Robert? Yeah, very, very. It's gonna be very fun to do. Very fun to do. I will say that you created a beautiful bee yard. The good. space, the colors, gorgeous. Give them a good place to live. So should we bring the Yeah, let's get the bees out here. Over? Now there's we are going to open them, so I'm going to go ahead and suit up just in case. So then, um, I, I don't personally care if I open the little flaps or not. So that'll save me having to suit up. You just want to carry them over and then you unflap them? Sure. Is that okay? Sure. Is there a the better way than not to pick these up so that the tops don't fly off? He said they're hinged for tomorrow. Yeah, you don't grab them by the top and uh, don't drop them. Yeah, that would be a good thing to not do. Bees keep the inside of their hive around 93, 95 degrees. Okay. So they are going to be very warm on the inside. We can put just right next to the hive that they are going to go into. Gorgeous. Um, are those going to be sturdy enough where they're spaced? I contemplated putting another one in, but then another I took one, so much one. time, another cinder block, so oh, no. that they have another, they're fine on the setting. I only, I only have ones on the outside, and it holds three big hives. So, so you only got two bars then, or you only have two boards? Correct. I was thinking of putting a third one in so that I would have the, the thing. Oh, equal, I see what you're saying. Balanced. No, no, you're Doesn't fine. Matter. Two boards. And like I said earlier, if you find that it's a little wobbly, put a strap around it. Got it. Okay, let's grab the third one and unflap them. Are you sure you don't want smoke? We don't need smoke. Tonight we don't need smoke because we're just putting the hives in position. It's already late in the evening. We're going to open the flaps, give them a day or two or three to get oriented to their new home. And then we'll come out and put the, uh, the hives from the nuke into the boxes. But for now, they're just going to sit here and learn where they live. And I'm going to go ahead and suit up before we open the flaps, just in case. Okay. So what's to prevent them from leaving and not coming back? Like Tonight. the whole hive? Yeah. The queen's in here. And she'll and stay. And if the queen gets motivated to swarm and leave, then there's nothing we can really do to stop her. But she's been living in here for a while. She has a colony established. It's not, it's not gonna be that critical. She's not in a hurry to leave. Of course, we, as humans, don't know what's motivating them to swarm, but typically, when you get a nuke and install it, they're fine. All right. So Mr. Robert's gonna hang out. Over here. Over there. He is brand new My and... Poker. What's that? With my smoker, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let those little bees come at me. He, he has uh, a lot of motivation, a lot of excitement, uh, but he, he hasn't had his first sting yet. So, all right, 
the when you get these plastic nuke boxes I don't even I'm not even gonna wear gloves it's it's only gonna be a second but they have these little flaps and when I open this they some of them are gonna start to come out just like so That one, they don't even know where they are. Yeah, bouncing around in the back of a pickup truck for an hour. Not really bouncing around, but. Five number two. And the last one, there's already some. I think they snuck out of a little side port here. And hive number three. Nope, they weren't in a big hurry. Hello, guys. These are just peeking out. This is your shy hive. So I will encourage you to um, give each hive a name or a number. You know, one, two, three, or however. And uh, journals. Every time you get into the hive, I'm not very good at this. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching it right now because I need to do this myself. But uh, every time you get in, so that you next time come out and identify, you know, whatever based on the last inspection. So they're open. So two days, three days. So, right. So what happens with some people is they put nine. They, they still keep them all pushed together so they have the same distance, the same bee space. Okay. But it adds just a little margin on the outsides so you have some wiggle room. Okay. Day one, you're a brand new beekeeper. Yay. Uh. <laughs> There's going to be so much more coming because Robert's getting into doing some video and stories through Instagram. He's already a very established local farmer that t grows all kinds of food, raises eggs. Uh, ducks and chickens for eggs and now he's getting into beekeeping because you didn't have enough to do didn't have enough to do one more project <laughs> Buzzing in my ear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They uh, Robert is also professionally a hair designer. He has quite the flair for presentation His <laughs> hives are going to be gorgeous <laughs> all the time Okay, now we're gonna come back out in two days probably to install those into the nukes We'll be right back ladders are all about but here we have our harvest lane honey plastic in hive feeders didn't have a chance to go back to Gretchen's today so I just ran to good old tractor supply what the I understand a ladder what the premise of a ladder is do they actually use the ladder to crawl up or down into the honey yes the not into the honey but the, the, the water sugar meat. water what happens is that if you some of those some of them are sold just like this, okay. no ladder system. Okay. So the bees get in there and they get on this textured wall, which is generally okay, but sometimes okay. they slip in and drown. Okay. And you're you're preventing that. You're trying to prevent it with these. So what do we do? So these should fold up. All right. So you want to fold them with the rim out. Yes. Uh, as an expert in um, assembling these now, make sure the little rim is facing out so you can actually slide it down into, into the perfection. Otherwise, it doesn't slide in like that. And they stay pretty solid. Yes, and then, and they, then they snap into place. Right? Perfect. Yep. And the reason we're using feeders is that this is a brand new colony. They're going to have a lot of um, wax building, comb building to do. So we're just giving them a, a head start by giving them some sugar water. It's they Considering the amount of nectar and pollen and wildflowers and everything that's out here, they probably don't absolutely need the feed, but it is going to give them a boost. So 
uh, as a brand new, three brand new hives, three brand, brand new colonies, it's just going to give them that jump start on the season. Ooh, who brought the fan? Well, just wait until July. I'm ready for a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> they have honey in them, or sugar, or something. All right. So our feeders are now properly assembled, almost, almost improperly. There we go. Brand new bee, bee suit. Yeah, it's very, very white. It's very white. <laughs> I would order the purple, but one didn't wouldn't come in in time <laughs> to match my truck seats. How about let's not record this part? <laughs> Day two of installing the nukes with a brand new beekeeper is uh, we came back prepared to add feeders to the hives. The frame feeders that we're going to fill up with one, is that one to one sugar mix? Yes. So one to one sugar mix and then also the entrance feeder for the third one because he didn't, there weren't three of them at the store, the frame feeders. So we're, let's get these nukes transferred over. It's a beautiful evening for it. Sure is. Let's get the uh, feeders in first. Yeah. How about if we do the that one on this end? Okay. Just to make it easy for us. Okay. Is there any chance that the bees might have started investigating these hives? A very slim. Wouldn't it be funny if they were all there and I didn't have to do oh, anything? That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Okay. So you're gonna have you're gonna take two of these out? Yep there and do your frame feeder on, on uh, one side the five in the middle and then the two on the end I, I think the frame feeder should be against the wall he said one empty I'm sorry you're right sorry frame feeder empty five two okay stay right there okay This is a breeze. All brand new, clean, nice equipment. Uh, we should fill them real quick. Yep, go ahead and fill those up. Um, fill them and then put down in, do you think? Or try to pour, I'm not gonna try to pour into that little hole. That would be somewhat crazy, don't you think? That look about good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so almost a, looks like three quarters of a gallon. In goes the sugar water, their food source. Drop down the ladders. Batten down the hatches. Uh -huh. Good. Mm -hmm. In there. Right up against the wall. There you go. That one's ready. Nice. And then this one. There's a nice little breeze, or is it just me? So right now, um, they're going to be curious about what we're doing, but being the first day, they're not going to be very defensive. Nah, I have nothing to argue about. We're just trying to help them out. And I think part of 
the whole process is just your whole like staying calm. They sense all of it, right? Yes. Oh, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought you brought the other one. At this point, you're just giving them a little boost, like an energy drink. Just no Red Bull. No Red Bull. No Bull. Smoke, again, these bees being brand new are probably not bad, but you want to break the seal, lift the lid, and just give a few puffs in, not directly down in, but across the top. Okay. And, and then that's just going to give them... So why don't I turn it so it's easier for me to unhinge, or should I take it from this, because the hinge is this way? The hinge is that way, so you're just going to break the tape seal. Okay. Get my smoker. Okay, girls, we're here. A little across the top. They're so calm. I think they're gonna, this is the kind of bees I'm gonna have, calm bees. That's good, that's plenty. Okay. And one at a time in the order in which they came. Correct. So I would start, put on that side first. Okay. Now, be careful, be careful when you're lifting that you don't lift too far on one side too fast because that up. bottom corner is pinching. Okay. So what if I do this mm -hmm. and this? Yep. Straight up. Try not to roll the sides. Hello girls. Welcome to your new home. Oh, they're going to be so happy here and so calm. Look at them. They're loving it. They are. Okay. Amazing. Let me show you this right here. Yeah. That is a the, um, queen cell or queen cup. Okay. So they, at some point on that frame, they started to make a new queen or at least prepared for a new queen. And he said he marks his with a green dot. Okay. okay. Every year that dot changes colors. Okay. But this year it's green. So now that they've been loosened enough, at least for right now, because these aren't they haven't been in their hive forever. They're easier to get out without the tool, but I know Correct. in the future the tool will be absolutely necessary. Yes. Before you move that one, Robert, uh -huh. let's scoot these in and give yourself Just more a little room. bit more. Careful, careful, careful not to crush anybody in case the queen is visiting another panel. Correct. Aw, oh, look how cute they are. They, you do want them to be close okay. because the space that was designed between them is what they call bee space. It was made specifically for them to not overdraw their comb. How's that? Is that close enough? Yeah, ultimately you want them touching, but for now to get that one in. Okay. And then I can readjust. Mm -hmm. This one's going to be a little heavier because a lot of the girls are waiting here. Oh, she's heavy. Mamma mia. And she's stuck. They're trying, there we go. Okay. That's okay. So if you want to take a look, see if that queen's on there. See the brood? Can uh -huh. you look in there and see that? The, uh -huh. That's yeah. larva. I don't see her yet. She's probably on one of the other panels. Unless she's taken off and gone over to your place. <laughs> that would probably not be a good thing, but she'll come back. We found the queen on one of our panels in the yellow box nucleus um, and she had a little green dot on her and it was seemed to be very calm. Right now everyone that's swarming around my face, I guess swarms a kind of a negative connotation. So they're just a little aggravated because we've tapped the box to get the last of them out. Blake has suggested the boxes be positioned in front of the hives, opened up as the last ones determine that their new home has been made and that they need to start heading home. Our three new hives, all positioned with their food source, nice mats, nice clean area with lots and lots and lots of 
food sources around them in the field. And of course, my mentor of bees, Blake. We just finished up putting three nukes into three boxes. Robert is a very excited new beekeeper. Absolutely excited. And Buzzing with excitement. But <laughs> he is going to do great. Uh, he tends to learn things very fast and dive right in. So Robert, you're going to be an amazing beekeeper. And I'm excited because you have a beautiful location. Uh, your hives look great. Your bees look great. You bought, you bought good bees. Uh, you bought Italian bees known mated outside of Texas, so that's going to give you a better genetics, a good start on your genetics. I'm going to follow Robert's journey through beekeeping so that you can uh, follow as well. It's just an exciting thing to do. He just now on his own video called me his mentor, which is a little scary, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad to help. I'm glad to be here, Robert. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and we'll have more beekeeping ahead. Yeah. On the Daddy Kerbs Farm and at Rising Kale Farms, we believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for being a part of our story through this video and letting us be a part of yours. We'll talk to you soon.